so he also did this FEMA thing because he's he's running off to Florida because he's got to get down to Florida and prove to everybody he's not going to pull another Maui event. Don't want to have that happen again, right? So he's going to go to Florida. He announces this to reporters, but oh my goodness, I saw this. And it's a little uncomfortable to watch because you're like, oh, we just saw Mitch McConnell just the other day. Mitch McConnell, it was, this is tragic stuff, right? Like at some point you get old and things happen. But in this case, these people that are getting old and things are happening, well, they're happening and they're still running the country, which is more terrifying. Here is Joe Biden telling reporters where he's going to Florida and then, then he's really struggling. Watch what happens after. I am going to Florida. I am going to. I'm going to Florida uh, Saturday morning. All right, thanks, everybody. Where am I going? Right this way. Right this way. Doesn't know where to go. This way. A little bit of news there. The president says he's going to go visit Florida. And thank goodness the cameras were turned away. I mean, I, I actually, you know, regardless of what you think of Mitch McConnell, you, you can't help but feel bad for the guy when. He's clearly having, as they say, a senior moment, right? It's more than a senior moment. When that's happening on cameras, at least the president in that case, I guess, was turned around so you couldn't see the blank stare on his face, although we've seen it before. Anyway, he, he's, he's up there in age. Every poll shows it. It'll be interesting to see if he makes it through. You know, Gavin Newsom is waiting in the wings. I think if the Democrats were smart, they would have primaried Joe Biden, just like they should have primary Jimmy Carter. And, you know, they might have a shot with somebody like Newsom, dare I say. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't know as they did. I mean, they'd have a better shot than they would with Biden, let's be honest, like anybody but Biden, except for Kamala Harris. You definitely don't want Kamala Harris. <laughs> definitely. Um, but if you put Gavin Newsom in there, he's going to have to deal with the whole California thing. Like nobody wants to work or live in California. I mean, if you've been to San Francisco lately, I was just talking to a friend who had just been out there. It is, I mean, it was bad 20 years ago when I lived there. It's really bad now. Really, really bad. And you see all the companies pulling their operations out. Nordstrom's, which had been there for years and years and years, pulling out of Union Square. This is what's happening in places in California under the leadership of Gavin Newsom. So I don't think he has a great national platform, but it's got to be better than Joe Biden's, right? And, uh, in the meantime, you get the, the, the extremists on the left trying to take out Donald Trump, now, now using the 14th Amendment. For goodness sakes, the 14th Amendment, this is their new legal strategy, and the media is covering it. AP has a whole thing on how this could happen. I'm like, how, how, how exactly would this work, guys? Let me hey, everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.